Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Rome 2 campaign for the New World mod playing as Persia and yeah we're coming to a very close to the end of this campaign and I can't wait to see where it goes really as I've just built this and we have no money to actually spend to like upgrade it but anyway we'll deal with that next turn, doesn't really matter about that for now. Um, but yeah, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this campaign. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, always appreciate your support. I uh, can't thank you guys enough for it. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just end the turn and we'll get on with what is going to go in this turn. Persia coming down on there, going to attack me. Okay, Persia's just like done an all-out assault, and I'm just going to close victory it because... We should. Look at that. Just like that, we win. And I'm just going to release the captives. What? Not Persia. It wasn't even Persia. Parthia, sorry. It's just Parthia just committed like suicide and just threw an army there, which wasn't going to win. Okay, this one we might need to fight, though. This is the Kushite army here. That is uh, a bit of an issue. We'll uh, definitely be fighting this one. Fight it on the battlefield. Absolutely. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, Legionnaires, so we are back on the battlefield, and yeah, we are here with uh, what, well, what is going to be the uh, defense of the city. We have some uh, Takabara up here, ready to defend. We also have, uh, well, lots of archers ready. We better just actually remember, just get to get them all off auto-fire, because we do not want that. But yeah, we're facing like a horde of uh, Ethiopian uh, swords. It looks like we're also facing some Arabian spears, all sorts like that. So we're definitely just trying to hold the line. With, uh, these guys. I'm just going to fire in some shots here. Actually, let's shoot all of this general here. This is a really good target. Just everyone shoot at him. It's just the easiest thing to do. Uh, I guess if my cavalry, or not my cavalry, my uh, Sparbara can reach, they can fire, but I'm just going to tell them to hold fire. There's no need for them to do that. Yeah, look at this. The chariot is going to get absolutely rinsed here. Um, how are they doing? They're not losing too many men just yet. They might now... There we go, the general's dying already. This is just what happens when like, you play with AI. AI just does this. And just like that, yep, yeah, all dead. We don't need to worry about that anymore. So now just focus down these guys. Shoot over here. Let's bring up the spar barrow just to shoot their arrows, I think. That's not a bad idea. So we'll do that, and then uh, I think we're pretty good everywhere else. Yeah, then just focus these guys down. And then uh, I'm going to get the other archers, uh, other spear unit, you know, I mean. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try and just focus these guys down. Right, um, you're, you start shooting like here. You start shooting like here. And then we're pretty good to go. Uh, archers, shoot these guys down. Focus them down. Kill them all. Kill them all. What are these? Nubian bowmen. Oh, they're not that great. They'll die pretty easily. Um, then let's get some swords up here. And um, we've got these spears ready as well, because they're not actually going to flank around. Look at this. They're just going to try and break through one spot, and that's just a bad move. There we go. These guys are basically finished. I can now start moving troops around if I can. I mean, it's not anywhere obvious. Oh, I know. Let's stink, stick these uh, spears around here. How these Persian Brigade, these Persian Brigade might need to go in just to support them. Men are wavering. Men are wavering. Okay. Um, let's send in some Persian Brigade. Hold the line. We should beat them. We should beat them. Our general's under attack. Well, that's just rude. That is just rude. And uh, let's just flank around with these guys. Mercenary Arabian spears breaking there. That's good. Let's keep breaking there. Let's break these uh, Ethiopian swords or whatever they're called. Look at that, we're nearly surrounding these guys, and then all these might break. I don't know if they'll break instantly, but they should break, given time. As like, just watch the fighting going on here. Literally, these guys have like, no armor. They are not great. I mean, neither do my guys. My guys aren't armored either. But I have a general, unlike them. 
And like this, here we go. Is anything going to break instantly? I don't think so. Where are these guys going to surrender? I don't. I honestly could not say. Let's just shoot these guys in the back. And there we go. You can see a lot breaking over here. This is good. What's all this breaking? Oh, slave infantry. Yeah, this is nothing important then that it's breaking. Uh, actually, I'm saying I'm sending them in. Let's not just do that too quickly. You can see, look at all this breaking. Wow, we broke like the main army first, and then we're going to break whatever's left over here. That's kind of insane. I mean, well, they've actually broken through here. I might send those uh, swords over here. Send them into combat. Yeah, they're actually... Oh, yeah, we're going to lose our Takabara, but this is just a... Just a uh, garrison force. Does it really matter what's in here? Absolutely not. Does not matter at all. Um, let's start firing over here. And then let's get the spar barrow over here as well. They can start shooting. And there we go. That's all just chain round. Excellent. Right. I'm going to start sending all my archers in this general direction as well. I'll leave one unit of... Uh, well, actually, I'll leave the general and... Uh, I'll leave the... Uh, these two units here, the general and that other unit of Persian Brigade can come over. I mean, we should start winning this. I mean, actually, these Takabara the, like, uh, did the flanking uh, absolutely terrible and are actually dying for their, their sins. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to send my general up to here so he can just support. And then let's have these archers just start firing. And there you go. Stuff returned just like that. They returned. But, I mean, they won't be as great. They rather, they, they routed once. They'll die this time. I like that line. They routed once. They'll die this time. That's it. I like that. General, just keep shooting like there. These units are just awesome. Svalbard, I think that's it. They've literally like... They've got like spears. They've got shields. They've got ar arrows or archers. Bows, you should say. Bows, Pope is the correct thing to say. But there you go. And all of these arrows can just look at that. That is disgusting. All of these guys just can focus down. Focus down. There we go. Shoot these guys to pieces. There you go. General, you can go in. Get some action. Uh, we actually are still losing this fight. We're going to lose this fight again, apparently. That is just rude. And... Can't be hard. Persian Brigade, you're in there, good. Archers, shoot these guys down. Who's shooting that unit? You're shooting that unit, stop shooting that unit. Men are breaking, okay, right, we're gonna have to send that small barrow back. We can't have everything in combat by the seems, sounds of it, and... I might turn some of these guys around to shoot again back this way. There you go. That should be okay. We're starting to slow these guys down anyway. I mean, this is a huge Kushite army. The battle is turning off favor, and that's because a scythe chariot's gone in and got itself killed instantly as the battle started. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Nasty. Nasty is what I say. And my uh, infantry at the back broke. That's just not the end of the world. Sparbara, keep pushing forward. Break these Ethiopians. Or Ethiopians, however you say it. And then they've all broken again. And we'll just shoot these guys in the back. Or not in the, even the back, just whatever that is. There you go, they all broke properly this time. And I'm going to flank around. I mean, but, I mean they're going to route, but there we go. We'll run them down a little bit, but not like masses. There we go. Look at that. Easy kills. Oh, the volley there just like got so many kills. And there we go. We'll end the uh, we'll end the battle there, and we'll quit the battle and end there. So I mean, we didn't do too bad at all. I think we did okay. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Back on the campaign map in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the campaign map, and as you can see, we just routed the uh, Kushite army. Won't be coming back for any time soon, so that's good. And uh, now it's well. Let's see what, who else attacks us. I mean, we've had two turns. Look at this. Look at this. We don't even got through a whole turn, and we're going to get attacked on all fronts. So we're going to have another battle here, it would seem. Uh, not that we're going to be able to do much about it. So I'll see you guys again on the battlefield in a moment. 
Okay, so we're back and I'm gonna just set up with like a pretty basic sort of formation. I'm just gonna put these archers here, put them some spears there. We'll probably put a spear unit on this flank here as well. Have the same thing with archers behind. Then I've got my other archers here, which I'll probably have base here. Have a spare spear there. And we've got spears in reserve that can go either that way or that way. Persian Brigade, I'm gonna have three here and I'm gonna have one on this flank. Spar Barrow, I'll have one here and one here, my general unit there. So there we go, that's how we're gonna set up. That's how we're gonna go. And I'm just gonna tell everything to hold fire. I mean, I imagine we'll just see like a charge from like, yeah, like these Tarantine Cavalry. These guys are gonna be absolute nutcases of charging. What we've got here, got uh, Flangites. We might need to kill them. And I'm pretty sure I saw an Agema Spear in one of these armies. I think it might be the other. Okay, focus these guys down. These Tarantine Cav cannot survive. Luckily, my Takapara have, like, huge spears, so, I mean, archer fire, like, head-on is pretty damn useless to them. Um, let's have these other archers. Let's bring these guys up. Or actually just tell them to fire. They can shoot from so far back. These guys are insanely good in range. Yeah, I just want to kind of focus these Tarantine cav down really quickly because they're just annoying. And it just gets rid of that cavalry support that they could possibly have, and I don't really want them to have that. Let's focus down these uh, Phalangites. Um, let's have you focusing these guys down, please. My general, I might have set up actually closer because he can, he's got like archer ability, so we might as well like take use of it. Um, I might get these militia, charge these militia hot fights. There we go. Uh, Persian archers to shoot all these. AI is getting a bit smarter. It's, uh, it's realizing it needs to spread out a bit more if it's going to survive. So that's smart of it. Well done them. What we just broke there? Uh, oh, it's not. We haven't broken. It's just the phalangites spreading out. Okay. Shoot these phalangites over there, and then send in. I'm gonna send in some. Oh god, get back, get back, archers, get back, get back. I'm gonna send in some uh, Persian brigade because I presume yeah, these guys are gonna start losing. Shoot those Rodian slingers though. Yeah, he's probably getting shot by the Rodian slingers. That's fine. These Takabar here are not doing so well. These uh, Phalangites are getting focused down. You can see the other armies over there. So it's actually on the wrong side of the map for us. Hopefully we can beat it quickly enough. I don't think there's any cavalry in this army. Not that I can see. Not that I can see any cavalry. That's okay. Uh, I might just start setting up, I don't know, maybe some Sparbarrow there. I don't know. We'll see. Generals is broken. That's really good. I've got these uh, Persian Brigade here. They can look the other way. Ready. Expecting. There we go, shoot these guys down. Enemy general's dead, so we've broken that one army. And yeah, there you go. This is going to be plain sailing for this army. Shoot these Persian... Uh, these slingers, sorry. Shoot those slingers. Uh, all these Persian brigade, they need to go over to that side. Set up over there. Same with these spears. And there we go, we're good to go on that front. And then you guys can kind of all just set up this way. I don't really need you there. Who is this? Militia Hoplites. I'm just going to send in this other tech of our to help clean them up. And there we go. We've kind of broken all of them as well. So we'll just send that in that way. General can go to about there. We can turn around. Okay, we're good to do it. We're good to go, in fact. And uh, yeah, there we go. Hold your fire and look that way. And here we go. This is the next army coming up. And Pokemon's already kind of been just beaten up. Enough. This is like, look at the balance of power. They cannot win this fight. Uh, just simple as. Just simple as. Cannot win that fight. Oh, okay, we had actually won that fight, but we should win it with the Persian Brigade. That should be okay. If not, then well, I can turn something around, but it's just one unit of militia hotplates. No biggie. All these archers need to get a lot closer. There we go, look, they're all going to funnel in down here, so we can kill these guys off. Have they got any flangites? That I should be worried about. Uh, again, with spears, we should probably worry about them. We should probably worry about them indeed. Uh, let's just send these guys in. Persian archers, where are those again spears there? Kill those again spears. Kill those again spears, please. Um, how many are there? Oh, there's just the one. 
That's okay, we can live with that. Uh, oh, these archers are out of... Oh, those... Uh, my general, sorry. My general is out of ammo. That's fine. Those guys won their fight. You can carry on down there then. We're focusing down something there. That's good. Oh, it's those slingers. Okay, good. Let's just kill the Agema Spears instead. They're going into, like, loose formation. That's really good to see. I can send some of these guys around here. These are just anything that we could throw in. I'm glad that my, uh... Garrison forces can actually win like most of these fights at this point. It's insane. There we go. We send them in. And they should be able to hold back all these militia hoplites for a little while. General is under attack. That's no surprise. Let's just send you around here. You can go as well. Oh, look, these guys are just breaking as they get close to the enemy line. They're like, no, not again, not again. Don't make us do it, sort of thing. It's like, yes, you will. And there you go. We're going to focus this general down. It's the cheesiest way. There we go. Enemy general dead. They just throw him in. And they're going to get him killed like that. And we are going to shoot the thorough spear there. We're going to just, yeah, focus these guys down. Charge into the back. Like so. And this is going to be a nice easy win, you imagine. I mean, what, what can go wrong? I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't tempt fate. Definitely a lot could go wrong. Uh, just kill them, I guess. And there we go. We're going to just kill all these guys. I mean, the archers can hold fire now. Hold fire. And there we go. Just quickly uh, wrap up some kills. Like so. I'm just make sure this Pergmon army just doesn't come back. So if we just kill most of these guys, it should do a, the job. And that'll do. I mean, there can't be many of these guys left. They're like punching through and they're just like, no, we can't make it. Quit the battle. Decisive victory. And like none of those guys have made it out of there alive. Like we killed, oh, that's an interesting name. Barzia. He's got like so many like duplicate letters there. Um, but yeah, that's basically that army's got them. We've got some, again, some really good kills. So I'll see you guys in a moment back on the campaign map. So here we are. We are back. We've defeated Pergmon. We've not even had a go yet. This is, like, insane. I've not even had a go. I'm, like, having to defend so many, like, attacks. We must be near the end now. Persian secessionists, they're doing their thing. I think uh, uh, Alexandria Arik Chosy is about to get itself killed. Yeah, they're just going to... Do their thing here. Yeah! And Parthavia's come to attack me. Okay, oh my gosh, this is a big army. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this one. Uh, we will see. I mean, this is getting ridiculous now. <laughs> Could I win it without uh, fighting? No, absolutely not. Okay, well, we'll be fighting this one, it would seem, as well. This might be an interesting episode for you, for you guys. Just a lot of battles. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end the uh, end. Well, I guess we'll just see what happens. I mean, I'll just load it up quickly. Hopefully nothing goes on uh, that I need to worry about. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to be interesting. There's a lot of cavalry, army of the immortals. And uh, well, yeah, I don't know about this one. Hmm. I've not got some such good stuff in this one. We've got like uh, villages. And these guys aren't as great. These, uh, the Spar Baron might actually have to get involved in some fighting. We'll see. We will see. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to defend this one choke point. Maybe the second one again, uh, like I did. I'm probably going to stack up my uh, eastern villages like so and like so. Because they're just trash. Like They can't afford to fight. They don't even have the equipment probably properly to fight. Uh, yeah, just put my Persian Brigade something like there. And then I'm going to put my archers... Like so, and like so, and then like so. Sparbara can go like here, and my other Sparbara there, and there we go. And we just got to now pray that we can somehow win this fight. I don't know how we're going to, but... I mean, if they send their general forward again to go and die, then excellent. I can't complain. Enemy, oh yeah, they have like a pike unit coming or something like that. Yeah, just focus these guys down, come on. Just ki get that general, kill him so easily, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get shot to pieces here. But hey, it happens. Yeah, that's nasty. Send the other one in. 
Yeah, I mean, the, these villages are just going to get stomped by stuff. I mean, the general's already getting pretty beaten up. That's really good to see. Uh, just keep shooting these guys. Just, oh god, this is going to be nasty. Yeah, first, like, wave of stuff, like, killed. Great. Enemy general dead. Oh, perfect. Can't can't complain about that one bit. Uh, yeah, all this cavalry's not doing so well. That's really good. All right, keep just killing it all. Just keep killing all this cow. Persian, oh my god, look at that chain route, oh my gosh. Look at that chain route, that is insane. What is that? I literally looked away for like two minutes. And it's like, something's gone on. Oh, yep, yeah, a chain route. Wow, this is the chain routes to like, beat all chain routes. This is insane, I've never seen anything like this happen before. The battle is turning in our favor. Spearman going in, since, yeah, that's nasty. Just break all these guys, come on, you can do it. You can do it. It's not going to take you that hot, that long. Uh, I'm going to just transfer these guys across here. This garrison's done a really good job. It's better than some of my other ones. Uh, yeah, they still have ammo. Can you Archers here, you need a pullback. I don't know what you're doing in here. I'm going to need you soon, you know. Yes, we're chain routing stuff, but it doesn't mean we're it's over just yet. Break these guys, come on. Make sure they actually go. The saw already wavering, which is a concerning thing for them. I mean, what's left? It's some phalangites, yeah, just turning up. Yep, yeah, look look at that. Look at that. Wow. And yeah, just run them down. Run them down, please. Keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to end the battle. I can't be asked to chase everything, so we'll just end the battle there. Another decisive victory. That one was the quickest of them all i can't even like fathom what happened there really that was just nuts um but yeah <laughs> that was insane that was war is sweet for those who have never experienced it well i mean these this garrison force has certainly experienced war let's put it like that but um yeah i'll see you guys in a moment back on the uh, campaign map as uh, we hopefully get a go now so here we are, we are back, and there we go. Nothing else happened uh, that we needed to worry about. I've just like got a load of unseasonal conditions, and you know what those unseasonal... Those conditions are probably just like constant warfare going on. Jesus Christ, that was just painful like to go through. But anyway, we've ne we nearly got that dealt with. Um, I've got some armies that I need to really get mobilizing. Don't know where I'm going to send them. Uh, I might send this army to go and besiege Henkopolis. He's got the ability to do so. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll get him to do that. Uh, Marikanda, got, we've got plenty of money now because I did a lot of ransoming of troops just to try and get some extra support. Um, I'm going to just put in an administration post because I really want to uh, make this sure this garrison's pretty safe and not got anything to worry about. I could upgrade this, make it a, uh, a better make it a better capital. I'm not really wanting to do that yet. I think I need to upgrade my food a little bit because, well, we're down to 10 food a turn. That's not so good. Um, so we'll definitely do something about that. So yeah, you can see we're starving here. That's not good. Um, no, we already looked at that army. This army could do with moving on, to be fair. Um, yeah, you're all sorted. Where is, like, my huge amount of grain, or, like, food supply then? Uh, it's gotta be somewhere. I'm gonna put in a... Put in a canal. Could do with it. Always have a canal. It's always a good idea. And then, yeah, I'm, like, upgrading so many of my food places already. Do with upgrading some of the ore. Um, let's upgrade that one. That one doesn't actually give me anything better, for, like the way of food. Let's send this army around. You can go around to somewhere like, I don't know, here. And we'll recruit a load of mercs when we need to, next, probably next turn. Yeah, we'll just recruit a load of mercs next turn, and that's 17 stack of a garrison could probably get wiped out um okay god we've got an army here that we need can deal with odessa can get better food so i'll do that um i haven't got any armies here where are my other army oh it's in jerusalem of course which we are actually improving to make even better for food um i could upgrade this one as well into irrigated farm i'm gonna do so in tyros so that makes that better great um I have an army down here as well. Uh, here is among men. I'm going to send... Oh, you've got a big stack here though, Pokemon. How have you got this through my lines? I mean, it shouldn't really matter. You're just still as terrible. Um, I'm going to move this army up. 
and I'm going to march on Seleucia because I know that they've just vacated their army to try and attack Hatra. So I will do something there. Um, so we'll deal with that. And uh, yeah, we're going to then move on and take, uh, Selu yeah, well, take Seleucia. And then we've got an agent here. We'll get him to come up to Henkopolis and do something about that. And then send him to Articona possibly. I mean, he's still going to starve in Articona. That's the problem. So it's not really like the issue. It's just that he's, this, it's really hot here apparently. It's a very hot time of the year and that's making it really bad. And you... I'm going to move back down to here because I really want to recruit some more cavalry for this army. So I'm going to do just that. So we're going to put in some... Put in a Median and then two Persian, I think, is the way I'm going to go. They're really expensive, but they're really good. So we'll see what we can do with them for sure. And then... I don't know. We've got we've got an army here. We've got armies here. I could go and besiege uh, Tarsus. It kind of opens up a whole other can of beans. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ambush this army here that's just kind of just chilling, waiting for stuff to happen. Definitely will do that. Ambush this army. 81%. Can't complain at that. This site, the Cyprian army here just waiting. 2,000. Yeah, we'll release the captives. I'll do that. I don't mind. And then uh, I'll do uh, something else. I'll probably just massacre these guys. There we go. Dealt with them, basically. Executed. All gone. Uh, we don't need to actually just normal march back to Antioch. And then I'll probably next turn I'll attack Tarsus. Uh, I could build another Spar Barra. I'm gonna, oh, I could build actually quite a lot of Spar Barra. Um, I'm going to build two. Mm, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll build one. I don't really want to keep these militia hoplites here. They're just kind of taking up space. I don't really want these. Persia Brigade are okay. It's only in the defense. So I'm going to put some more of them in. That gives me six of them. Uh, I don't know if I want that many. Put another Spar Barrow in. There we go. So that will balance it out quite nicely. I think that army is basically ready to go. And then we've got still like a thousand left we can spend on stuff. So I kind of want to spend it on a building somewhere. Buildings. But I doubt you can really build anything for a thousand. Which is the issue. Can't spend anything for a thousand. But anyone want to make peace? Surely some of these factions will like to make peace. Uh, let's have a look. Parthavia still really like me. No, of course they would not want to make peace though. Of course not. None of these factions would really want to make peace. They feel like they still got a chance, even though they're on their last settlement. They're like, yeah, we still got a chance. We could beat you. Egypt, look at this. They love me. And they I bet you they won't make peace. I feel like diplomacy in this is just broken because like they love me. 44 and we're at war. You'd make peace on that. You'd make peace at 141. And uh like and we're at war. You just wouldn't. Don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't think these guys have a settlement. Oh no, they do. They definitely have some settlements. They're losing settlements. I think this might be their last one. Amazonian traditionalists and they have a man as their leader. That's not very Amazonian at all. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything there either. And there we go. We're kind of just done. I can't really do anything else. I've got a thousand left, but I'm going to save it. Use it for a rainy day. And uh, yeah, I think I'll end the turn of one final time and uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, if anything, like, if a huge old battle turns up, I mean, I don't know if I'll fight it. We will walk the warriors of course, Galatia, you know, they just want to declare war on me. <laughs> it's just stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, we we got another enemy. Maybe that's why no one, went, no one wants to make peace, but they're quite happy to make war. stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid. Like Galatia. Oh, well, we'll just carry on the fighting. Oh my gosh, that is a huge... I don't even think I could beat that. Oh my gosh, that is an elite army. Yeah, I could probably get the general. I don't think I'd break everything. Oh, that is frustrating. I'm going to have to turn the army around from Antioch to go and deal with these guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to unfortunately probably lose this. I'm not even going to try and fight that. Uh, those Alamnites are just so nasty. And I'm pretty sure they're all Silver Chevron or something like that. Oh no, it's my elite army. Ah, oh, that's why it is. Not even Silver Chevrons, it's just because they're in that silvery color. Oh, I hate this guy. Pull him on. He just... Yeah, well, I'll deal with Hatra in time. Give me a second. 
We've got another army coming up here. Oh my gosh, he's actually going to try and take Zadraka, isn't he? <sighs> These guys have already fought hard enough. They don't need to fight again. But uh, I guess I guess I'll do that. We'll fight. <laughs> they'll fight this battle. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back, and yeah, here we go. This is the uh, final. Well, the final will be the final battle of the episode. Probably we've had so many battles this episode; it's insane. And uh, yeah, well, I can't really, can't really stop him either. <laughs> Just look at this. Look how insane this is. It's like another. Another battle all over nothing, basically. It's just a tiny settlement. Some more phalangites are appearing. Excellent for them. There's literally nothing left to fight. Uh, yeah, just shoot these horse skirmishes. Kill them all. Kill these guys. Come on. Cut them down. Where's their general? I want to shoot him. He's a phalangite as well. Hopefully we can win this. I mean, these guys are mainly just like Parthian spears. Just terrible. Terrible units. Um... They can't yet fire in range. Yeah, they're about to break those Median Cav. Oh, and those Median Cav just pulled through. Cheeky things. Get cut down, I say. Uh, just focus down their Eastern Slingers, because they could be an issue. They're taking ages to appear, so we're going to turn around and just tell these guys to shoot. But yeah, we've already nearly broken those Persians. Uh, those Persian... Not even Persian Slingers, they're just Slingers. Just shoot them. Shoot the general now. Everything needs to shoot that general. It's got... Where the heck are you guys going? Get back here. Literally all you have to do is turn around and shoot these guys. Oh no, you got to shoot... Be awkward and shoot them in a funny way. And yeah, there you go. These general, This general unit's going to get shot to pieces. Uh, we'll just send these guys into combat because I'm going to need to. What have we got here? This is... Parthian Spears, Parthian Spears, Parthian Spears. Yeah, lots of Parthian Spears. Nothing to worry about. Just going to hold back, let them shoot the general up. What are they bringing around here? More Parthian Spears. Yeah, these guys are not going to have a chance. Not going to have a chance. Let's get the charge off. Let's get the charge bonus. Just keep focusing. Where's, where's that general? Is he in combat? I don't know. I think so. Just shoot this blob. Focus on their general, kill him, and then we don't need to worry about anything else. That's all we need to do. I could probably flank around actually with this unit here. Let's do that. Oh yes, look at that. Just sneaky little flank. This is just such a nasty... <laughs> it's just the same scenario for these guys. Well, we just defend and we just hold. I don't even need to make like awesome like defenses. Just have to hold them. Uh, they're about to break. Let's just send you in. About to break their generals, so that's good. My uh, my generals passed. They might just go for the cap point first, but it's phalangite, so I could probably just shoot them before they even have to do that. Um, just keep going like that. Keep just sneaking round, sneaking round, charging the back. And there we go. Look at that. I just broke everything. Enemy general is dead. Oh, our general's under attack. Oh, their general must be dead though as well. I would have thought. Um, yeah, it just broke everything there. That's fine. Charge it down, and there we go. End the battle. What a battle. I mean, that was just insane and stupid. All in the same, like, few seconds. What else can I say? But, um, yeah. Conquered, we conquer. I mean, we definitely did conquer. Put it like that. We conquered. But we'll try and get to the end of this turn. I mean, if we don't, then, I mean, I might just end it here and then start the next episode on that. And, yeah. That'll probably be it for uh, this episode. It depends if we've got any more attacks coming off. But this is probably getting on for a quite a long episode. So I know you guys enjoy seeing them. But I just kind of want to keep them as quickly as possible. Uh, not as long as possible. But as uh, a watchable amount. Put it like that. Let's just kill the captives. We're not having any of them get back alive. I'm going to go back to Hectopolis or whatever it's called. And take the city. There we go. We've taken some damage. Strengthening of the waters. Great. Let's do Skions of Xerxes. Can besiege this place down. Put in a tower. Um, could I take it? I mean, I could. Look at that. Pyrrhic victory. I wouldn't, like, struggle. Just siege it down. Just siege it down. And then you can see here we've lost Hatra. I'm going to send my army from Antioch to Odessa. Um, I mean, I could just take Samoset. I can't even do that. Can't even probably take Samoset off them. Well, I'm going to just, yeah, move to Odessa. I'm fine with having 
flipping Pontus on my border and just like hating me. I don't think they can even stop me. I th all their armies are pretty damn banged up. That one's banged up. They're all pretty banged up, like I said. Uh, I'm going to just take Gabala for myself. So I'm just going to build a load of these guys. I shouldn't even know if I'm going to take Gabala from just this. What's the stack? 17. Yeah, not happening. Um, what's here? This is Media Magna, isn't it? Yeah, this is Medi Magna. So if I just build like a load of good troops here. Why didn't I do that last turn? I should have just done that. Instead of letting this army here build up. Oh well. Um, we'll build a load of Lamb Knights. And what have we got here? Oh, Slave Infantry. Oh, nice. Um, don't need them. But good to have them. Then a load of Persian archers. And that's all my money. And where's my other army? I mean, there's... We have... What's Jerusalem's garrison looking like now? Looking a bit healthy, but not healthy enough. We've got armies over here in Arctrosia that can just move up. Let's just send you, like, as far north as possible. Far north as north will go. And you can do the same. Send you to Susea. And then that's kind of like all the east is like sorted with. So that's good. We're now dealt with that. But I mean, we just got like this whole like mess here that's to sort out. I'm going to see if like what Seleucia's garrison's looking like. What's that? Eh, it's not actually that great. So I'm going to try and take it. There we go. 67%. I can take that. Excellent. Cut them down. And we now have Seleucia. So that's a start. We can take Seleucia off them. Uh, yeah, it's, that's all looking good as well for us. So ha I'm happy with that. They can't even reach at this turn. They can get to here. So now they're stuck between a hard, two hard spots because they've got an army on each side of them. So that army there is basically dealt with. They could go this way. I'll just try and stop them. But it's going to be tough. We're going to actually need to put a field army out to go and deal with that uh, force there. It's not actually like a bad army. That's the thing. It's made up of a load of Alamnites and stuff like that. So that's annoying. Uh, over here, can we still build stuff? Possibly. No, it's going to take two turns now to build stuff. That's annoying, but uh, expected. Um, we're just pumping out the troops right now because we need to. Um, you're on force march, force march. Okay. Uh, my army in Jerusalem is a full stack. That is fine. I'm pretty sure that's everything that then we can build. Apart from in Seleucia, can we build stuff here? We could. And I'm going to build some Sparbara. Uh, the same as the Alam Knights, and they're just better. So we'll just get Alam Knights. Um, and I'll get another... I'll get another Slinger. That's okay. There we go. Alright, so that is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.